excuse me, folks. 5.30, having arrived, call the meeting to order. Standing beside the Pledge of Allegiance. Pledge of Allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, All right, first on the agenda is uh, Phil and Joan Billadu. Last week at the public hearing, I did not read a letter that they had forwarded. Uh, I didn't see it till the last minute, and it's entirely my fault. And Phil is here today to read that letter into the uh, record. Once again, Phil, I'm sorry, I apologize. Thank you, Phil. Steve? Yes, sir. Um, I noticed that Zach Langlois is here, and I think he wanted to comment uh, to the board um, as a select board, uh, as the school board rep to the budget committee. And I wonder if the uh, board would consider taking him out of order. I think he's going to be fairly brief. Works yes. for me. Sure. Sure. If you would, Jack. No? Zach. Uh, Zach. Z -A -Z. Jack. Jack. Z -A -Z. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the. I'm Zach Langlois, I'm the school board rep for the Municipal Budget Committee for the Long Island South Road. Uh, I just want to express to the select board the disgust that I had when I left the Municipal Budget Committee last Tuesday. A particular member of the committee was uh, vulgar uh, and belligerent and generally combative with other members of the committee. Um, and I believe that the board should watch the video that was posted online on the town's website today to see what kind of behavior we were getting out of a member of that committee. I don't think it's Deerfield, I don't think it's appropriate for any of our, uh, anybody representing this town to behave that way. And um, I would stress the board uh, act in its authority to um, see that those meetings are run properly and that the members behave accordingly. Appreciate your comment. I agree. Um, Regarding that, do, do, does the board want to uh, review the tape and possibly make, I, mean, <clears throat> I think we have to take some action just based on what I've heard. Yeah, I don't think we have a lot of, I don't think we can take a lot of action other than to urge the budget committee uh, to enforce you know, rules of order and protocol. Uh, while we're underway, the budget committee itself could remove the member, um, I believe, because he was appointed in March um, to fill one of the vacancies we had. Um, I'm not sure if the committee is interested in that, but we can certainly propose that to him. I will say there's been some other communication from the uh, the one particular member as well. I think uh, which I saw of today and it's it. outrageous. It's, it's just uh, it's strange to say the least. Yeah, I had a, they had a friend of mine uh, who uh, watched it today, and she said she went through the first 45 minutes and it was vulgar, and uh, she couldn't watch it any further. I would like to recommend that the board put together a letter to the Municipal Budget 
committee chair, stating our um, absolute disgust with what happened at that meeting and urging them to remove that member from, from the Municipal Budget Committee. I think you should add to that, not only that, but the letters that have followed since, because they're, they're as bad as what went on that night. I think so. I think it, it's totally inappropriate to have that person on, uh, especially in light of the, the email I read today. Um, if we put together the letter uh, fairly quickly, I have to go to another budget committee meeting tomorrow night and uh, can present the letter. <laughs> would, would the board authorize me to sign it on behalf of the board? Yes. 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 Okay. So I'll try and get it taken care of before you uh, go to the meeting tomorrow. All right. Thanks, Zach. Thank you, Zach. Mr. Manzi. Thank you. A couple of quick items. Um, number one, I want to give you an update on the Land Water Conservation Fund grant. I sent a message to them right prior to the holiday because they originally thought we'd hear some information in November. Is coming here tonight, and then I'm looking at uh, January for more information on that. So stay tuned, I'll keep you posted. And the other quick item I had was um, I received a donation from the Grand State Credit Union to support our uh, Silver Santa and holiday lighting event in the amount of uh, $200 as part of their Good Neighbor Initiative. So I just wanted to um, get the board's approval to accept that. Can I get a motion? I would make a motion that we accept that. Second. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Okay. There's no questions for me. I'll turn it back to you. Well, it just so happens that uh, I have something else. And uh, I've, been, I've been thinking about this for a couple of days, trying to figure out how I can explain this. So every time there's a, a fair in the town of Deerfield, every single time, some of us can't actually show up. But miraculously, there's always a picture record. <laughs> and there's a, there's a member of the Parks and Rec Commission, but more importantly, a, a, a real citizen of Deerfield. Melissa, could you uh, step forward just for a moment? <laughs> So, so yeah. he, <laughs> he had nothing to do. Yeah, he did. He told me to come tonight. <laughs> yeah, and you listen. So, every time there's an affair in Deerfield, everything, every single thing that goes on, you and your camera come out and show the residents who couldn't be there what's going on. And your pictures are always absolutely beautiful. And the amount of time that you spend, both on the Parks and Rec and being our eyes at, at affairs we can't go to. So, for her many years of perfectly capturing the charm, spirit, beauty, and vitality of the town of Deerfield, New Hampshire, through her photography, the Deerfield Board of Selectmen proudly recognized Melissa Robertson as the official photographer laureate of the town of Deerfield. <laughs> Melissa's thousands of photos will forever serve as historic document documentation of Deerfield events. On behalf of the town of Deerfield, we thank Melissa for all of her work and look forward to her next project. Santa Claus. Thing on <laughs> <laughs> I was there, so I can actually know. I know what it was. Yeah, yeah I was skiing. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, we need to go into a non-public session. Under. Says here B. Is that B. Right? Yep. I'll make a motion. We go into a non-public RSA 91-A3 Roman Room 2, letter B, which reads, the hiring of any person as a public employee. 
I get a motion. I mean a second. 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 Yes. 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 <laughs> All right. Are we running? Mm -hmm. And this is on. I want to uh, note for the record that no action was taken in non-public session. And could I get a motion to seal the minutes of the non-public? So moved. Second. Moved yes. and seconded. Yes. 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 Okay. Uh, <coughs> I would make a motion that we authorize the chairman of the board to sign uh, an offer letter uh, for the position of town administrator. Second. Discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? All right. I'd like to announce that our town administrator, Ms. Jan Foisey, a 28 plus year employee of the town of Deerfield, will be stepping down from her position as town administrator on January 2nd. She will remain as an assistant to a new town administrator through the election process. And I'd like to announce that Mr. Uh, John Harrington has a uh, just accepted the position of town administrator due starting on January 3rd, 2017. And we welcome him aboard. And most importantly, we thank Jan for helping us to get to this point for 28 plus years of service to this town that have gone very fast, haven't they? <laughs> Sometimes. Not that fast. <laughs> All right, moving on to the agenda. Review of outstanding minutes for the 21st. And these are abbreviated, are they not? So moved. Second. You'll have the full. <coughs> okay. Discussion? All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? I have an accounts payable manifest in the amount of $51,796.29. So moved. Second. Discussion? All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? All right, in light of uh, the decision we made on the budget <clears throat> regarding raises, uh, I'd look for a motion to change Steve Jamelli's hours from $20, 20 per week to 24 as the board <coughs> wished on October 3rd. And uh, at that time, we were going to increase his uh, salary from 3276 to 3358. Do we wish to consider, do we wish to, to continue to proceed with the increase in hours? I would say yes.
We were going to increase his hours and increase his pay. Now we're just going to increase his hours. If so moved. Second. All those in favor say aye. 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 Those opposed? We need to go against, we need to, to uh, I'm sorry, find the right word. We need to change the decision of the board to increase Denny Gregg's salary to $25,688.47 and leave them at $25,061.92 if we wish to go through with. So moved. Second. Discussion? Do, do those numbers again with it? Okay, we had increased it from 2506192 to 2568847. This vote would rescind that increase and, re and leave it as it was. And that's based on our decision not to offer raises this year. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Okay, on October 3rd, we, the board voted to increase Kevin Barry's salary to $48,484.80. Kevin is exempt from the U.S. DOL overtime rule, which has a nationwide preliminary injunction halting the enforcement of the FLSA overtime ban. The board will need to rescind the vote of October 3rd for the increase and go back to 43680 from 48484. So moved. Second. Moved and seconded. Discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Okay. Now, we have a request from the town administrator to increase Kevin's wages in 2017 from $21 an hour to 2022 because he's rapidly, uh, there, there is another town employee who is just about up to where he is. I don't know what the board feels. Well, he had uh, a favorable evaluation and haven't adjusted much there. So if, if the board is w willing, I'd entertain a motion to increase his hourly rate from 21 to 22 for the starting January 1st. So moved. Second. Discussion. <clears throat> Hearing none, all those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Good. Making sure I don't want to miss any, <coughs> any pieces of paper. It's under that black, black clip. It's all due to the um, FLSA. The rule we thought was a rule, but it wasn't a rule because this is an exception. Yes. Okay. I have a permanent application for property tax credits or exemptions for Douglas Chamberlain, 211 North Road. This is an elderly exemption. I make a motion that we grant the recommendation. Second. Any discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? New forms. Okay, the Town of Deerfield Medical and Dental Carrier, SBC Compliance Health Trust, and this is for the dental rates for 2017, which haven't changed. No. If the uh, board would authorize me to sign this. I would make a motion that we authorize the chair to sign the agreement. Second. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? I would also uh, note for the record that the property tax credit uh, exemption applied for here is pointed out by Mr. Pittman and I've had scratching my head trying to make Mr. Chamberlain elderly, but I believe it's a veteran's. Does it not say elder, elderly exemption there? Well, it does have his service dates. That's what it, he's checked veteran. Uh, you're right. Uh, elderly exemption is checked as well. 
but he, he's provided the information about his dates of service in the okay. army. No, yeah. Thank you. So we may need to correct the form, but I believe it's in order otherwise. And again, I need the board's authorization to cover, to sign the agreement with Health Trust for the medical coverage for 2016, 16, 17. 16, 17. <coughs> right, it goes Start halfway through early. the Right. I would make a motion that we authorize the chair to sign that agreement. Second. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? <clears throat> we have a request from the police chief to hire a full-time police officer, the name of Benjamin Averill. I would make a motion that we grant the police chief's request. Second. Moved and seconded. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? I would note that Ben's a longtime resident of Deerfield. Indeed. I also have a request from the police chief. He has two police officers who currently who are requesting to carry over vacation hours in excess of the allowable 80 hours. Joel Hughes currently has 139 hours available vacation time that is requesting to carry over in 2017. This would put him at 59 hours over the allowable 80. Michael Lavoie currently has 97 hours of available vacation time. He's requesting to carry over into 2017. This would put him at 17 hours over the allowable 80 hours. Being short staffed through most of the years made it challenging for people to utilize their available vacation time. I will add that throughout the year, I have not denied any request for vacation for anyone. Both Hughes and Lavoie have asked to use 59 and 17 hours of vacation respectively in December and have been advised it would not be possible at this point in time. Accordingly, they were requesting to carry over all available vacation hours into next year. <coughs> so moved. Second. <coughs> all those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? I have a request from the town administrator that we transfer $3,124 from the Municipal Government Buildings Infrastructure Expendable Trust Fund to replace and install two WX350 well tanks, uh, one in the boiler room and one in the pump house at the George B. White Building. I would make a motion that we transfer the funds. Second. Discussion? All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Good. Pass that down and put all the sign stuff in there. Took care of that. Town Administrator's report. Okay. Um, I'd like to have a special thanks go out to the Deerfield New Hampshire Garden Club women. Um, we now have Christmas decorations in our two containers out front. Um, the NBC will be meeting tomorrow and then on Saturday to go over the town's budget. And Mark. Tibbetts has contacted Brookside, who does our furnaces, and he will be receiving a written um, answer that it basically does not hurt the boilers here to be shut off during the summer, but we will get the official word. <coughs> and the water tanks will be going in at the end of the week. What time are those meetings, Jim? 6.30 on Tuesday and 9 on Saturday. Thank you. 
So they're doing the whole day Saturday right. thing still. Yeah. Good. I think it, hopefully it'll be the morning, but yeah, just the town. Yep. Just the town. Questions for the town administrator? Yeah, just I'm. I didn't bring my budget sheet, but I had recollection of a couple of specific requests the budget committee had. There's the sheets there that Steve's got. Okay. Um, for. And uh, the correction on the town clerk will take care of that questions. Yes, the ACO. Um, they want to decrease the salary and the supply line, I believe it was. They want to cut 6202. <coughs> well, the, just looking at the history, we've never come close to paying the, the salary line um, and probably haven't adjusted that since Matt Lopez was the ACO. The one concern um, that I believe Cindy did have, though, was uh, particularly for the equipment line. I'm going to ask them if they would increase that because um, I – Knocking that down to $100, if we needed a new dog kennel or a new catch stick, I don't think you can buy much other than a dog collar for 100 bucks or less. So that needs to be adjusted. And I would certainly, Cindy's here, if, she's, if she has reason to believe that we should keep the, um, the, the stipend and salary range at the original level, I would be happy to bring that up again tonight too, uh, tomorrow night. The equipment line is 500. It's the supply that went down to 100. Okay. Yes. Yes. Yeah, I will. I'll talk to the committee tomorrow night about adjusting that. It's only two bucks a week. Yeah. So, after you talk to them, you can make a recommendation as to what we should do with the budget. Certainly. Fair enough. Any other questions? Any other? All right, unfinished business. Yes, sir. Mr. Chairman, uh, last uh, last week I made a comment with regard to the height of the uh, of the tower for Northern Pass on Church Street, which I said was 135 feet, and the actual height uh, it, I'm correcting is 130 feet. So it's uh, 45 feet above the existing towers. But I also would like to uh, take and make a uh, general correction of the statement that was made previously. There are 65 towers slated to be located in, in Deerfield, and they range in, uh, exclusive of the ones that are at the substation. And they range in height from 105 feet to 155 feet. <coughs> the statement previously made was there were only four or five towers that were above 100 feet. So clearly, that statement was totally incorrect. The <clears throat> the average or the median height, that means if you take all the towers and list them in, in order of height, the middle, middle tower would be 130 feet tall. So there are third, there would be 32 towers taller than 130 feet and 32 towers uh, below 130 feet, but the lowest being 105 feet. So I think uh, this corrects any, any mis, uh, misrepresentation of the facts with regard to the height of the towers proposed for the Northern Pass project. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Can I, can I ask a question? Yes. So this is if they get, if they have room on the, on, on the um, pathway and, and, and be given permission, these are the towers they'll put up in addition to the ones that are already there? That's correct. So. Do they have all those permits to, to use the uh, right of way? I mean, that I don't know. But I, this is the these are the plans that were submitted to the town and are, are online uh, with regard to the height of the proposed towers uh, for the Northern Pass project. So I remember hearing something also along the lines of, if they don't get the right of way space to put up the separate towers, they would just put up bigger towers. To hold the existing lines and Northern Pass, or am I getting correct? Uh, yeah, I, I believe I believe that current towers would remain, and then the, these new ones would be uh, adjacent to those. Thanks, Fred. Anyone else? <coughs> Other business, new business. Do we need that number? Not, not public. All right, citizens, comments. Please step to the microphone.
Motion. Is she going? No, she's just looking to see okay. if somebody is. Motion to adjourn. Second. All those in favor say aye. 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 Thank you all very much for coming in.